Welcome back, Geek Bites. Geek and Bites. Three. Uh, we're about to go in and eat some steak nishake, aka known as steak and shake. Let's, so, uh, let's get it. Come on in with us. So, what did you get, Josh? Okay, so I got the uh, Frisco melt. Let's take a look here. So it looks delicious, honestly. Like the cheese, the the steak, and uh, the sauce is what makes it a Frisco melt. So. And I got another chicken item. I got the chicken tenders to compare to Chick Fil A and Canes. That's the goal. Which one's the better bang for your buck? Which one tastes the best? And then we also got we also got the uh, the all shake the vol orange freeze yeah. so we're gonna try that out. Rule number one for steak and shake is if the fries if you want them to be good you have to use you have to use this seasoning or else they're not gonna be good. That's just how it works. All right. So I guess I'll take a first bite of this. I may have just ascended to some higher plane of existence because that's good. Now it's time for the taste test. All right, taste it. You just got all fry right there. Don't get it twisted. That chicken's good, but it tastes like the kind of chicken that you can make in like the oven from the freezer at home a little bit. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Get this dip. Dip? Dipping it, oh. huge bite. So do you have a letter grade on the tier list? Well, if I'm asking for a letter grade, hold on. Yeah, this is pretty much an S tier. I agree. Like, for the price, this was priced so reasonably. Like, you can eat here during lunch and not even worry about the meal equivalency because it's only like, barely five dollars compared to Cane's and Chick-fil-A which are both like near seven. So price comparison, this is the move. It's almost as good as Nan's peanut butter tuna melt. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Are you sure you wanna ask that question? Fries, okay, so. I've low-key got beef with the fries. I love the fries. They're too skinny. Get Chick-fil-A's fries with this chicken. They're skinny, but they're strong. So like, if I was gonna go to the gym and work out, like, it looks like the kind of like fry that wouldn't be able to spot me on bench, but like, they're strong enough like in flavor that I know that if I couldn't get the barbell up, these fries are gonna help me out. You know only like three people can relate to that. It's can more you, like- Can you not? Can you shut up? Whenever you're in class and you're sitting next to two different people, and one of them always has their textbook and the other one's always playing Mario Kart on their phone, you know you need to rely more on the one with their textbook to get you through the class. And this guy's got the textbook. Who plays Mario Kart in class? Great location and great user-friendliness with older students that aren't on a meal plan, once again, because of the flex dining dollars option they have here. Plus, it's right in between Haslam and like the hill. So it's a good middle place on campus to eat. And there's also lots of other things and places to sit and enjoy your time in this building. I would date this sandwich. I would take it on a date, I would take it home, introduce it to my parents, and they would say it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Would you take it on a lunch date? I would even go as far as to say I would take it on a lunch date. Which I know I said before, never go on lunch dates, but this thing, I'd take it on a lunch date. Do we want to try? I would court this meal. I probably wouldn't take it out on a date, but I would definitely pursue a courtship. I would ask permission from its parents to possibly think about taking it on a date. And I would really ponder my intentions with this meal. Milkshake this? time. Yeah. Bro, that's banging. 
That's good. You can definitely taste the orange in it. That's for it sure. It tastes like orange sherbet, but like with ice cream. So it's like better than orange sherbet. Try that again. That's banging. Place to me in my heart. <laughs> this angle is hilarious. <laughs> mm. That's pretty tasty. Can we do a montage of me eating the rest of this? This has been a good meal though. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steak and Shake. It's also really good because if you want to eat and then take out a loan from the federal credit union, <laughs> it's right across. Final score. Four, two, three, S tier. S -tier. Well, I guess that's all for now, folks. See you next time. Uh, see you next time, episode seven of, wait. We're gonna go eat Burger King. Are we? <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't wanna <laughs> go to Burger King. Burger King on campus. Oh, uh, that's true.